वेलकम टू अभिपीडिया पावर्ड बाय अभिमन्यु आईएस दिस इज डॉक्टर वेक राणा डी कोडिंग करंट थीम्स व्हिच आर इन न्यूज़ फॉर प्रीलिम्स 2020 दिस इज नाइन्थ लेक्चर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक वैल्यू एडिशन सीरीज एंड वंस अगेन वी विल बी कवरिंग अ थीम व्हिच इज इन न्यूज़ इन फैक्ट इट इज ऑनगोइंग टुडे फॉर द फाइनल टाइम इंडियन एयर फोर्स इज फ्लाइंग स्क्वाड्रन ऑफ मिग 27 so this topic will be covered under defense parlance once again we have already three lectures on totally dedicated on defense so this is our another attempt to make a decode another theme for all of you so that you could prepare it so like always first of all we will be covering what this mig 27 aircraft is then we will be covering why it is in news and finally a practice question which can be asked from such a theme so that you are aware that how these topics are to be prepared so indian air force has a distinct reputation of flying superior aircraft over the years and mig 27 has served them for over four decades now so glorious chapter of fighter aircraft of mig series is finally coming to an end this is the last time that this aircraft is flowing through indian airs and after this it will be decommissioned it will no longer be be operational and it had already retired this is just a symbolic final ceremony which is taking place and this news is being dominated on social media as well as other newspapers so let's start so first of all uh, this is uh, quite different from the missiles and the space certain we had covered in our series so first uh, first of all you have to understand what this acronym stands for if you have been following defense current affairs there are a lot of mix aircraft which are in use at times you must have heard about mig 21 there is mig 23 uh, there is mig 27 so this is the series which is going on so first of all you have to understand what this mig stands for mi stands for mikayan and g stand for gurevich so this mikayan gurevich as the name suggests is not an indian uh, aircraft it is of soviet union origin so first of all you have to understand it's developed by mig firm of soviet union country is on expected lines russia or soviet union and it was uh, its role is a ground attack fighter aircraft and it has specialized in that role and it has optimized from in from air to ground attacks so whenever some enemy entry and enemy base is to be attacked such aircrafts are tactically used in warfare and they have served their purpose time and again so this aircraft uh, was developed in uh, for made first flight in 1970s and in 1975 it became operational and from 1970s to 86 is the phase in which these units have been developed uh, across in russia as well as license were given to uh, some countries which were interested in this project and since then 1075 units have been licensed so this is a common aircraft if you are following defense affair but in case you are new to preparation so this is how you have to prepare the important facts regarding any of the aircraft when it is developed when it is introduced whether it's indigenous or it's of some foreign origin whether indian firms are manufacturing it so as we had covered in our class lectures as well in india the firm which gets the license and generally manufactures these aircrafts is HAL Hindustan Aeronautics Limited so this is not an exception this is once again developed by HAL when its units have been manufactured in India so it has served a, a, a role as a tactical aircraft over the years and now this uh, is almost an obsolete uh, aircraft in world parlance uh, only the countries which it is being used was Russia there was Ukraine Kazakhstan india and sri lanka so russia as well as uh, ukraine have already retired it india has also joined the league now no, no longer it will be using mig 27 only now sri lanka and kazakhstan are still using it eventually uh, they might also switch it so this mig uh, because world had more um, acceptance to mig 23 uh, mf series and bn series which were more popular than this mig 20 
So these technical details are not that much important as per UPS aspirant. You should just be thorough that it's not a helicopter or unmanned air vehicle. This is a fighter aircraft of Soviet origin which has served Indian forces. Now let's come to, uh, since we know what MiG-27 actually is, that why it is in news this time. So it's in news for its farewell because finally Indian Air Force in its Jodhpur Air Base is holding a ceremony in which it will be finally decommissioned. It's flying for one last flight. The seven aircraft will are being currently being flown in this on, on in this date itself. So that's the reason why it is in news. So one final time, uh, this MiG-27 is gaining the attention. So what has been the contributions of MiG-27? That's important part. So this aircraft has served Indian Defence Forces for over four decades. But over the years, finally it will be remembered for its decisive role in Kargil War of 1999. It helped in capturing as well as attacking lot of mountain posts and its role has been applauded. And that's the reason why the nickname Bahadur was uh, given to it. So if uh, in state services or some other uh, exams, uh, this question can be asked at which aircraft of in is popularly known as Bahadur, then you have to pick this MiG-27. And also in uh, Operation Prakram, after that uh, parliamentary attacks in 2000, this Air, 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 Air Force uh, plane was operationalized and it dominated headlines once again. So it uh, this mobilization was part of that our activity, Operation Parakram. And this is once again was in news. Oh, and over the years it has uh, been in news for various bilateral as well as international air related exercises which are currently held. Like you must have heard about the Garud exercise with France at times numerous such exercises this aircraft has participated so that's the another reason for which it is remembered any aircraft is not without its set of own controversies and mig 27 is no exception to this rule so the controversy associated with it are the periodic or you could say the numerous the accidents in which it has been involved over the years and that's one of the reasons it is being phased out uh, and you can understand that in, even in Kargil also, one of the aircraft uh, had an engine problem and it, it was finally not being operational. And since 2011, 12 such uh, MiG have crashed down. So there adds to dubious distinction of various other aircrafts or MiG series which are being substituted. If you could recall in our class lectures, we had covered about Tejas. Tejas is currently substituting the MiG-21 series. So this was once again the wrong reason for which it is in news. And since 2005, the number of crashes have even though reduced, but still uh, this operational has its own challenges and over the years it's best time to just phase out and it has met the objectives which it were required over the years. Now what is going to be the fate of such aircraft that's not uh, clear yet but most likely such are reserved as a souvenir and also at times they are returned to the original base where they were first launched or at times they are given to some other country. So that await what the final fate of this uh, MiG-27 is going to be. That Let's not speculate on that issue. And finally, let's discuss that what other themes can be covered from uh, when you are covering these aircraft. So first of all, you must go through the uh, fighter aircrafts which are being operational in India. Whether it's Sukhoi series, generally I return SU-222, S SU-22 or it could be C-130J which is of US uh, Air Club and also make sure the Rafale which was dominated the headlines of 2019 is once again revised that it's a 4th generation 4.5 generation fighter aircraft developed at assault aviation so all the themes which we had covered must be revised once again because whenever some aircraft is in use it's not that question is going to be framed from that specific aircraft any of the aircraft which are currently serving Indian needs can be asked. So, and apart from that, HEL role, the indigenization of technology once again comes into play. So, whatever helicopters, whether it's Dhruv, whether it's Rudra, you should go through all the products of Hindustan Aeronautics 
limited because indianization is key to modernization and it's better to be uh, prepare of aircraft as well as other operational requirements through indian hand so this is it what is to be covered in this mig 27 series and to end it let's have a practice session so that you could link few of the themes and that could be a revision for you so the current question i have formulated on match the uh, on correct pair uh, you have to choose the correct pair so here you can see that all the options which are given in a b c option are in wrong direction because rafale we know was manufactured by the salt aviation so it should have been france c 130j just i have uh, highlighted that it's a us military transport uh, aircraft which is known as super hercules so it's not of russian origin so uh, even some other aircrafts which are highlighted like mirage 2000 in a option you could understand it was dominated headlines in 2019 in balakot airstrike it was mirage 2000 and it used air to ground missiles which um, were made of israel but the aircraft is not of israel aircraft is of France. It's one of the products of the salt aviation which is manufacturer of Rafale as well. So this is it. Uh, so in this question you have to pick the none of the above option. I hope this session was useful. So just like the Indian Air Force is bidding adieu to MiG-27, this is our time to bid adieu to 2019 year as well and science and tech series will be back in 2020 with more uh, informative videos. Uh, wishing you all of you a very happy new year in advance thank you